what's up fam i hope you are doing well and thank you for checking this video out i really appreciate it so today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make lebianca people type beats you know so i pre-made the drums you know to save time let's check the drums out Yep, so that's how the drums sound, very simple and open. So now let's move on to building the melodic aspect of the beat. We will be keeping it very simple and open, you know, that, that beat was very open. We will be making some ambience around it too. So these are the instruments that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using E-Piano from Velvet, a pad from Expandy, a bell effect from Expandy, then a texture from Purity. So the first instrument that I'll be working on is the E-Piano. So first let me go to the piano roll, then let's click in notes. Before we do that, you know you need to go to this piano roll option help a scale highlighting then you choose a scale in which you want to work in so in my case i want to work in e minor it's already in e minor so let's start you know clicking in notes so let me place it here let me skip the d let me place it here let me skip the b let me place it here then let me let me put it here then let's work on the second chord let's check how it sounds first then we move on to the you know the third chord I like it, I like it. Let me let's work on the third chord. Nope, I don't like that one. Let, let me let me bring it down rather. Okay, let's check everything out. Let's see where we are. Let's see if it's making sense. So let's just repeat the second chord for the, you know, the fourth chord. Now let's listen to it. I like it. Let me send it to the other side. Then let's change the uh, the E piano's preset. This one is not sounding great. Okay, I think I found the right E piano. Let's check it out. Let's see how it sounds. Okay, now that we have that, let me first copy the E piano's chord progression. Let me paste it on the pad. Then let me go to the E piano's uh, piano roll. Then let me press Alt S to strum it. Now let's check it out. Okay, let's check the pad out. Let's see how it's sounding with the E piano. like it but let me let me uh, reduce the release a little bit then let's work on the bass then yeah, i'll start yeah, cueing yeah, the part you know, for it to sound darker now let's check it out before you know we add some riffs to it okay now let's check it out Like it, let me copy it to the other side. Seems like some frequencies are clashing. Nothing is EQ, nothing is touched on you know the mixer, the mixer channel. There's nothing on it, there's no effect. So bear with me. Let's work on the um, bell. Okay, I 
I like how that one is also sounding. Let me let me EQ, you know, the E piano, then the part two. So let me fetch an EQ, parametric EQ two. Then let me connect it to this aux channel. Then what I'll do is I'll put a, a, a wave doubler four on it. So let me go for the wave doubler four. So let me go to the load. Let me choose the basic preset. Then let me cut the low ends. Let me raise the high ends. Now let's listen to how it sounds. Now let me fetch a uh, patcher. So let me go to the preset. Let me choose humanizer preset. Then let me increase the stereo. And let me increase the pitch variation just a little bit. So let me copy that same preset. Let me copy the um, let me copy this word first. Then let me copy the same preset. Then let me put it on the pad. So let me go on it. Then let me paste in the word pad. Now let's check the two you know the two instruments out. Okay, let me put a parametric EQ on it to cut this the high ends. Then let me copy the same parametric EQ, then let me put it on the bell effect. So let me tame this one a little bit. You know, these days I don't normally add limiter and compressors on my sounds. You know, I just use the EQ to balance out the sound. And it keeps everything natural when you do it that way. That's me though, I don't know about you, but do what helps you with your sound. You know, it's your sound, it's your own, it's your art. Do what pleases you. So let's continue. Let's let me copy the parts, chord progression. Let me put it on the textures. Now let's listen to how the textures sound before you know we treat it. So let's turn everything down here. Then I want that water, that water effect. So let's you know let's bring that one up first. Yep, this effect, I like it. So let me bring the pad also. Then let's bring the sonar effect. I like it that way. Let me copy the bell effects, parametric EQ, then let me put it on the textures. Now let's listen to it. So with this one, let me, let me check, let me see where the, uh, the frequencies are a lot. So with this one, I'll put a limiter, a fruity limiter on it. So let me fetch another texture, but with this one, I'll, I'll copy the bell effects melody, then I'll put it on the second texture. So with the second texture, there's this lead in purity. That's, that's my secret lead that I'm giving to you guys. So, you know, check it out. It's the winter lead. It just makes the, the beat, um, it fills up the beat, you know, with some nice dope ambient vibe. So let's check it out. Let's see how it sounds. So let's play it along with everything, then let's see where we are. Yep, that's how it sounds. Let's listen to everything together. Let's see where we are.
yep so that's how it sounds i'm done with the tutorial but i'll be dropping the fop for you guys you know to work on it more if you want to change the chord progression you can change it this is just an example to show you you know um, how you can go about making le bianca's people type beat you know so um comment in the comment section what tutorial you want me to do next See you in the next tutorial. Peace out. We've been at this for a long time. All I hate, all I tell a shit. Cast still, we go blow. When you're my town for, we are my town for tough shit. We go see. Help boys when I'm broke up, when I'm drunk, we in the process. Y'all made it come, nigga, court.